hello guys vivek here and uh, i am getting a lot of question upon this topic uh, that what is the difference between generator and alternator but uh, where is the difference aren't the same uh, many people say that both of these things are similar and they both do the same thing so generator and alternator is the same thing well this is not incorrect at all because you know both of these machines are used to convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy and uh, both take the same thing uh, same amount uh, same uh, power that is the mechanical power and their primary work is to generate electricity but where is the difference the difference is in their uh, construction there are certain differences and in this video i'm going to discuss about the same so here you can see that i have just uh, completed up a chart okay so here i have written generator and here alternator in the both of these sections i'm going to differentiate between them the first difference basically for a generator is that by generator we mean a machine which generates the dc current okay you have heard about dc generator okay so dc generator it, so it's uh, it it can also uh, be an ac generator which we called induction generator okay or ac generator which is basically an induction motor which is uh, which is working at certain conditions where it generates electricity while an alternator is only meant for generating ac current there is no dc okay you can understand it by the fact that it is called alternator you can see it's called alternator so alt means the alternating current okay so alternator means alternating generator it can be defined in like that manner okay okay now let me wrap this up uh, so that i can continue with the letter points okay so generator and alternator the next thing that is really important apart from what which machine generates ac and which machine generates dc it is important to look at the construction by general construction a generator has something like this kind of figure there are two magnetic poles which can be permanent or which can be an which can be uh, you know electrically uh, connected electromagnets or it can be permanent magnet so you can say that this is north pole and this is south pole and the field is stationary okay the field the magnetic field which is there is a stationary while there is a shaft which rotates and generates electricity okay it's something like that i'm sorry for my bad drawing up here okay so this shaft is actually rotating in certain direction uh, okay so the conductor it carries up a conductor and the what we get the electricity we get from this this terminal we, uh, from here we get the electricity through brush and uh, slip ring uh, and all those things okay sorry commutators not slip rings actually so we get electricity from here okay plus minus okay so the magnetic field the magnetic field is stationary magnetic field magnetic field is really stationary okay the magnetic field is stationary it is it is a standby one whereas the armature or the rotate uh, there is a rotating part or the conductor is what rotating while in case of alternator the thing is different uh, an alternator basically looks like something like this this is a kind of uh, rotor you can see of an alternator okay it looks like this one this is the general drawing given okay it carries up a winding this is called the field winding okay the field winding looks like this one and it is connected outside with an battery source or with a exciter okay and it rotates within a frame within the st the station uh, the stator a uh, stator frame and this is rotating okay and this is connected of course through through brushes okay okay so the exciter is there and it has certain polarity north pole south pole polarities of course there of the rotor and here on the stator remains the st stator conductors here here you can uh, three phase conductors are there okay so when this ma when this magnetic field is cut by this uh, this uh, this conductors the electricity is generated in three phase okay it is like this one so 
the, there is the difference between both of these machines while in case of a generator you can see that the field is uh, stationary the field is not moving while the conductor uh, which is uh, there for generating the electricity which is responsible for output is rotating while in case of the alternator the the field is rotating while the output f uh, wires are not uh, uh, rotating or the output conductor is not rotating it is stationary fixed to the stator Do, uh, there are certain advantages of this design uh, about alternator people do ask me why we not connect uh, the stator uh, why we do not make it like generator like the field is a standby and uh, the uh, the the, the this three phase conductors are moving one so you can make this one but this design is really economical because you see if this is rotating if the three phases are rotating okay the three phase conductors are rotating on the rotor so you need to give three three slip ring and brush arrangements right okay whereas in case of uh, excitation we are in case of rotor you only have to give two uh, two of these okay so only uh, by connecting two brush and slippering arrangement you can do this thing other than this there are certain economical uh, advantages like uh, on the design basis to make uh, this rotate is um, to make the uh, three phase conductors rotate is not that economical in case of you need high power okay in case of high power demand it is always recommended that uh, the field uh, is rotating one while the the armature conductor so you can say the output conductor is stationary one okay another difference is not that important but this one was really important di difference you should note it down that what is the basic difference between this generator and alternator okay uh, apart from that what other points in coming in my mind is that a generator is bigger in size compared to an alternator okay a generator is bigger in size okay the first thing it is bigger in size big enough okay and one another thing that is really important that it has a really uh, low weight sorry it has high weight per kilowatt output okay that means the weight of a machine for one kilowatt uh, uh, output is really greater than that of an alternator for similar purpose okay okay in context to this okay so j so alternator is basically used for that's why this is recommended for high power output whereas generator is not that much used okay if dc is required uh, nowadays rectifier units are connected to alternator okay it is connected to rectifier bridge rectifier bridge which can uh, economically convert uh, the, the ac current to dc current okay uh, in a, so these are the basic differences between generator and alternator one of the uh, one of the only uh, exception you can say is the induction generator which is not that much used it is used in case of uh, windmills you can check it out on the google okay so it is the only uh, you can say the exception other than this an alternator is only used in case of production of ac while uh, generator can actually produce dc or ac both but we mean by generator uh, that a machine which generates dc current basically okay so this is the basic differences okay so moving uh, to the next slide okay so uh, basically you make it note that a generator means the field remains stationary while the conductor is rotating the conductor is the armature okay the armature from which we are getting the output while in case of an alternator the conductor is stationary while the field is rotating one okay so this is the basic difference between generator and alternator i hope you have liked my video if you have liked this video please share and subscribe to my channel i uh, i will bring more such videos and if you do subscribe me that encourages me to bring more such informative videos okay so do subscribe me over here in on youtube and you know my i have started my blog the electrical engineer in last videos i have discussed about them so please do uh, visit there and subscribe to my blog and also to my youtube channel okay so that i can bring more such uh, informative videos for you so with that said thank you very much